Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to discussing about a, a few more problems related to averages and this is the last session for averages uh, and this is another model uh, of problems. Uh, let's see the first question in this session. The average weight of a group of 53 girls was calculated as 58 kgs. Uh, here 53 girls average is given as 58 kgs and uh, after that it was later discovered that the weight of one of the girls was read as 65 was read as 65 whereas uh, her actual weight was 45 here the actual weight is only 45 kgs but it was wrongly read as uh, 65 kgs so what is the actual average weight of the group of 53 girls? So, whenever the problems are asked uh, like this, the solution is very simple. Definitely, we need to calculate the new average. New average, how can you calculate is First of all, uh, initial average. Initial average plus initial average plus Change in average. Change in average. Change in average is nothing but uh, it may be either increases or else decreases. New average is equal to initial average plus change in average. That is the only thing you need to do. It is very simple. I will tell you in, uh, in a short form. Initial average is 58. 53 girls average which is given as uh, 58. This is 58. Initial average 58 plus. Now I am going to calculate that change in average. Change in average is nothing but uh, what is the exact value of that particular girl. Here correct value will be signed with positive and the wrong value will be signed with negative. Here the wrong number is uh, here, one of the girls weight misread as 65 kgs instead of 45 kgs. Actual weight is 45. So, I am using positive sign for actual weight and negative sign for wrong weight. Now, this is a change in value. This is a change in value. If I want the average, I have to divide this entire value to all 53 girls equally. To all 53 girls equally. That will give you the exact result. Here this value is equal to. In the numerator this is 45 minus 65 which is equal to minus 20. Right. Minus 20 divided by 53. That will give you the exact result. Here 58 minus 20 by 53. Right. Here I will take it as 58 minus 0 point, 0 point, how many times it will cancel. Here it is, uh, it is not cancelled 4 times uh, and here it is uh, definitely 3 times it will cancel. 159, if it is 4, definitely that is more than that. So it is uh, 159 and still I left over with, uh, I left over with uh, 41. 41 already decimal point is there uh, 410 410 is uh, around uh, 7 times around 7 times I will take up to uh, 2 decimal digits uh, so I will take it as 58 minus 0 0.37 if I subtract uh, 0 0.37 from 58 what I will get 57.63 57.63 57.63 in the options will be having 57.62 which is equal to option D. Option D is the right answer for this question. Approximately 57.62 that will give you the correct answer. Right? Let's move on to the next question. See here. The average marks of 65 students in a class were calculated as 150. It was later discovered that the marks of one of the students was calculated as 142, whereas uh, his actual marks were 152. What is uh, what are the actual average marks of a group of uh, 65 students? Here also we need to calculate the 
actual average. The same application is uh, you, uh, applicable for previous problem and uh, this problem. Why? Because both are same model. Actual average is equal to initial average. What is the initial average which is given? 150 plus change in average. I will use positive sign for actual value. Here the actual marks are 152. So plus 152 and the wrong value, wrong number as uh, 142. Take it as negative sign minus 142 divided by, divided by. You need to divide this particular value to all 65 students equally. That will give you the average, uh, change in average. So, this value is equal to 150 plus, here it is uh, 152 minus 142, that is 10 by 65. That is equal to 150 plus, here you can keep it as 0 point, then it will be 100. And uh, this is, uh, you can take it as 1 time 65 and next 35 is left over uh, 350. 350 means again uh, 5 times, I guess, right? five times so it will be the answer is uh, 150 plus 0 0.15 which is equal to 150.15 up to two decimal points uh, up to two decimal digits after the decimal so option b is the right answer for this question option b and last question for averages and also for this session see here the average marks in science subject in science subject, the average marks uh, 20 students is given as 68. Then automatically you will get the sum of 20 members. Sum of 20 members is equal to what? Average into number of uh, students. Uh, average is 68 and number of students are 20. Therefore, the required average becomes uh, 68 into 20 which is equal to 136 and 0. 68 to sir. 136 and 0 is there you can keep it as 0 that is the sum of uh, 20 students in which subject science subject if the marks of two students were misread as 48 and 65 here the original marks are 1360 total initial average according to the initial average the value is 1360 and uh, these two values are misread as uh, 48 and 65. So, these are wrong numbers. You can subtract these numbers. Minus 48 minus 65. Of the actual marks are 72 and uh, 61 respectively. So, actual marks are 72 and 61. You can add those values over here. Now, the question is uh, what is the correct average? Therefore, the correct average is equal to, correct average is equal to, this is the total sum divided by number of uh, students 20. There is no change in number of students. Now, here you can take it as, I think, uh, 1360 divided by 20 directly, you can take it as, you will get 68 uh, minus uh, this value and uh, you can take uh, Plus and change in average is important. Denominator is 20 as like previous problem change in average. Here uh, the sum of these two 72 and 61 which is equal to 133 and uh, sum of these two minus uh, minus 48 minus 65 that is uh, 101 minus 113. So, this value becomes minus 113 plus 133 which will give you plus 20. Which will give you plus 20. So, 20 by 20 that is equal to 1. 68 plus 1 that is equal to 69. 69 is the correct average. 69 is the correct average. Option B is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, I hope you understand each and every problem in averages. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching.